Hello Scorpio, welcome to the love reading. We're gonna be looking at what your person's currently thinking or feeling about you and what are their intentions, next possible actions towards you or the connection. Um, as always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they're not going to resonate with every Scorpio watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you and leave the rest. All right, so let's jump right in for Scorpio, spirit angels. Let's just guide us please for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Scorpio need to know about what this person that they're thinking about connecting with feels about. For Scorpio, the person that is connecting or thinking about Scorpio. What is Scorpio's person thinking, feeling about them, spirit, at this time? The person that Scorpio is thinking about connecting with at this time, what are their thoughts, energies, feelings towards Scorpio? Knight of Pentacles, nice. Eight of Cups, Five of Cups. Well, I think they might have some regrets here. Uh, nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Um, I think that they're thinking about the long haul here with the Knight of Pentacles and a serious offer that leads to something more. The Knight of Pentacles is very um, dedicated. Um, now the Eight of Cups is telling me that perhaps there's something that this person walked away from or they walked away from you and they regret that. We'll have to see. Let's see. Let's get some energies. Can we get some more energies about this person? Scorpio, please. What are this person's energies towards Scorpio, towards this connection? What are their energies? towards Scorpio. Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. What are their energies towards Scorpio? Budding romance. Romance is in the air. I think there, there there's an attraction here. And then the victory lap card at the bottom of the deck. So someone's like drawn to you, Scorpio, or vice versa. I think this attraction is leading someone to think about the future. A new romance with you. Feelings are developing. And someone's hoping for success. Nine of Cups is also here. See what else we get. What else do we need to know for Scorpio? Their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Scorpio. I wasn't ready. I'm taking action. Okay, so they weren't ready before, but they're feeling like they're ready to take action now. Bottom of the deck, I miss you. Yeah. Hmm. So let's get some clarity here. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. What do we need to know? about this Knight of Pentacles. What do we need to know about the Knight of Pentacles? Three of Cups. What do we need to know? Eight of Swords. Knight of Wands. Okay, 
So this person I feel is overcoming their fear. I think they go back and forth between like, let me take my time, let me do things right, and I just want to go after it. Because again, there's that drive, there's that desire. I think this person wants to like reunite with you, Three of Cups. Some of you I feel like could already be in another commitment or doing something else um, where maybe you have your own business or like you're, you're rooted somewhere. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. What's this Eight of Cups about? What's this Eight of Cups about? Strength, Leo energy. What's this Eight of Cups about? Two of Wands. Oh, so I feel like this person is choosing a new path. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, yeah. Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I think this person is going to choose a path that takes them to you or walks like it's like they're going. They're on a journey that leads to you. This has taken a lot of courage from them, strength. Stop it. Stop it. That's just someone in a stroller. I'm so sorry, guys. My dog's just... Yeah, I think that this person... They've left something serious. They could even be moving places. Um, and I think it's like as soon as they like stop by or land, it's like, I'm going to talk to Scorpio. Page of Swords, Two of Cups. We're going to talk about us. Let's talk about us because I miss you. Tell me about the Five of Cups. Tell me about the Five of Cups. What do we need to know about the Five of Cups? death there you are scorpio two of pentacles and the king of cups yeah does scorpio miss me too six of cups because when i think about scorpio i think about the good times we had i think about our connection i think about the past and how i still feel the same way does scorpio feel the same way i'm also getting the the message here that this is only for some of you you would have to choose this person. Um, so maybe you already have something right now um, and you would have to choose this person instead or you have to choose this person instead of a job, a, a physical location, something like that, a religion, for example. So let's look at their intentions, next actions. Tell me about this person's true intentions, next actions towards... Scorpio. What are this person's true, genuine intentions? Next possible actions towards Scorpio. Three of Pentacles, Two of Swords, the Emperor, Aries energy. Bottom of the deck, the Moon, Pisces energy. You know, Two of Swords of the Moon tells me it's almost like this person, they're unsure. That's enough, guys. They're unsure about this action that they know they need to take. So, you know, it's almost like I know what I want. I know I visualize success. I know I'm drawn to Scorpio. I find Scorpio alluring, seductive, tempting. Um, and I know I want Scorpio. But it's not completely up to me. I wasn't ready before. And this action I'm taking now, it's all dependent on what Scorpio feels and what Scorpio accepts or rejects, right? Like that's that's kind of what I'm getting here. Tell me about this emperor. Three of pentacles is all about working together, building a foundation, collaborating. Tell me about the emperor. What is this emperor's intention what's going on with this emperor the hermit 
Virgo energy. Tell me about the Emperor. Tell me about the Emperor. What's, this? What's up with this? Ah. The Hermit and the Five of Swords. Yeah, and again, there's that doubt. Seven of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Maybe they haven't talked to you or heard from you. The issue is the past. They weren't ready in the past and they were probably immature in the past. They probably sabotaged themselves in the past um, or sabotaged a good connection with you in the past. This is all they can think about. I think this keeps someone a bit undecided and stuck. Tell me about the two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords. What do we need to know? Yep, seven of swords. Tell me about the two of swords. Yep, nine of wands and the empress. So Scorpio, the issue here is, and there's the, the knight of cups and then the king of swords that were kind of split in the deck. The issue here, Scorpio, is that you might not trust this person or trust their intentions. You know your worth, you're doing very well. Empress energy is what I feel you are, you know, the emperor and the empress. So you are their divine counterpart. Um, but the seven of swords and the nine of wands is almost like maybe there's a lot of baggage here. Maybe there's a lot of uncertainty um, in terms of like what you're gonna, how you're gonna take this basically. Because they're gonna want to come forward to talk and I think they want to talk about this Ten of Swords and this Ace of Wands. So it's like they're being very honest about their feelings and their intentions. They might even come to you with an apology. But this could be over for good for you or it could start. It could go either way. I hate the distance between us is right in the behind. I miss you. Yeah, this person misses you and... I feel like it's motivating them to act, but the past is a problem. Whatever past you have with this person, it's an issue now. Maybe it wasn't addressed in the past. Maybe you never talked about it. Maybe there wasn't closure. Maybe this person ended up looking terrible. Um, and so, it, you know, I almost feel like this person is expecting rejection right off the bat. Like you're not even going to consider being with them. And I think also that they're wondering if you feel the same. And they're doing a lot of thinking before acting. I don't think this person is ready to take action right now. I think if they were to take action, it's just to feel you out. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. There's, they've experienced the loss and the Page of Cups is here at the bottom of the deck. I think they're going to probably apologize here. And I think they're going to kind of use that apology, how it's received, what conversation you have, or your, you know, how, how, how you react. You know, it's like they're going to use that to figure out where you stand. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully you enjoyed this bonus reading. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Right below this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll be seeing you all in another video very soon. Take care.